Hi. Hey, today we're looking at a raisin vineyard, Thompson Seedless. We're looking at their canes and uh, we're looking at how the wood grew over this past year. In addition to growing a really large crop, we were looking at concerns about getting that crop in and making sugars last year. But at the same time, with a permanent crop, a person's always got to remember that they're always growing two crops. The one that's hanging currently and for the replacement wood for the following year's crop as well. And one thing I'm seeing on this vine in particular, these canes, the inner node spacing looks quite good. The diameter of the cane looks good. Uh, this is a little bit far, but not out of, out of hand. But I had a, a vine specialist tell me once, he said, run your fingers and your thumb down the inner node space and feel for ribs. And you feel, if you feel ribs, a lot of times it'll feel, let's see up here, if it feels hexagonal and you feel that kind of a shape, that vine was stressed. It was shorted something. There's a deficiency there. And it's interesting because that has proven true for me over the years. I've, I've looked for that, especially in the off-season time. What's that wood looking like? And I felt a lot of, a lot of canes. And what I found is that a lot of times where I'm seeing ribs that are stressed like that, if I keep track and I go back, I can find that those vines are a little bit weaker come push or they don't crop quite as good because they're dealing with other issues, possibly soil-borne issues, a lot of times soil-borne, sometimes other issues too. And what I'm finding is that if you get the soil healthy, the wood will respond over time, and what you're going to have is a healthier vine. So there's another nice cane right over there. Nice inner node spacing. It's going to be a very fruitful and productive cane for this coming year's crop. Well, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.